Hello guys, welcome back, Healthy with Tammy. Um, today I am going to be doing a Pilates style workout for you guys. A couple people asked me to throw one up here, so here it is. Um, you do not need any equipment. I am going to throw in a little ball and a ring, Pilates ring if you have one, but if you don't have one, it's not a big deal. I'll show you with and without it, all right? So let's just stretch it out first and we'll get started, all right? It's gonna be about 25, 30 minutes long. All right, so arms are out to the side. You're just gonna reach side to side. You wanna tilt that pelvis under. Core is nice and tight. Bend those knees. Come on, reach and reach. Now that, add a little rotation with those wrists. Turn them and turn them. Come on, yes you can. Do not move the lower body at all. It's all in the upper body. Good, now bring it out and over. Reach, all from the core, come on. Look at your stance. Couple more, reach, last one. Hold it up there, hold it up there. Grab that wrist, give it a little pull. Good, let's go the other way. Out and over. Reach as far as you can without moving that lower body. Navel towards the spine, come on. Couple more, here we go. Up, last one, hold it up there, hold it up there. Yeah, grab that wrist, give it a little pull. Good, now come back up to the center. You're just gonna drop your arms down in the front, drop your chin to your chest, stretching out that upper back a little bit. Good, so I want you to take those hands behind you. You're here, open, lift them up. Good, drop them back down one more time, lift them up, and then just hinge at that waist and lean forward. Feel the stretch in those hamstrings. Good, now grab both toes, pull yourself right down to the center. And walk it over to one side. Bring that chest to the quad. And go the other way. Good, come back to the center. Roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders go back. Two, three, one more. Big inhale at the top, and exhale. All right, so we're gonna have um, four blocks today. Each block's gonna have four moves that we're gonna repeat two two rounds, we'll go through all four, then we'll come back and go to the top. 40 seconds on and a 10 second break. So the first four moves you're going to do a lunge and a lift. So without any equipment, one foot is back. Make sure you're up on that back toe, front knee is over the ankle. You're just gonna lunge low and then lift that foot up, squeezing that booty behind you, down and lift. Don't rush these. So we'll do right side, then we'll do the left side, okay? And then we're gonna go into a standing, um, Side bend, so you're here, no equipment. I'm gonna show you with and without it. So right now without it. So you're going to do two crunches, just crunching. Again, do not move the lower body. Then side bends, tapping those elbows to those hips. All right, two rounds, we got this. So the first round I'll do with you with no equipment, then I'll show you if you have that optional ring or ball, how to do that. So one foot behind, up on that toe, chest up, lunge low. Come up, just squeeze that booty back. You don't have to lift that leg too high. Down, up, squeeze, again, down. Look at that front knee, it's directly over that ankle. Don't let it go past that toe. Get as low as you can in that back lunge, and lift, come on, down. Up, squeeze, core tight, shoulders relax. Don't do this, get those shoulders out of your ears, down. Up, lift. Oh yeah, come on, you got it, down. Up, last one. Good, we gotta do the same thing to the other side, all right? Both toes are, and knees are facing forward, shoulders back and down, chest stays up the whole time, get up on that back toe. Here we go, lunge, come up, squeeze. Also working the balance, that comes from the core. Come on, you got it, and squeeze. Slowing our roll today. Come on, you got it. Squeeze it up. Toe down. Don't drop that heel. Keep stay up on that back toe. And lift. Lunge. And lift. Woo! Inhale. Exhale. Come on, you got this. So close. And lift. Two. One. And rest. Good. All right, again, no equipment. Toes and knees forward. Remember, you're tilting that pelvis under. Shoulders back and down. Hands up, just two crunches right from that core. 
down and lift. You don't have to be on your back to work those abs. Come on, side tap. Remember, do not move that lower body, nice and slow. Crunch, two, tap and lift, back to the center. Come on, Woo, make sure you're breathing. Two crunches, two side bends. Down. Oh. Good. Two side bends. Come on, you got it. Down. Oh. Good. We're going to stay up here. We're going to just do like we did with those warm ups side to side, nice and slow. All right, hands up. Do not move the wrist this time. Reach and center. Slow it down and center. Again, you're not moving that lower body at all. Come on. Reach, reach, oh yeah, all coming from the core, you got it, tilt it under, squeeze that booty behind you, come on, and then we're going back to the top, we're going to do those four moves one more time, yeah, lots of core work and Pilates, lots of some stretching as well, it's a great thing to do on your active rest day, come on, reach, Slowing the roll a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go back to the top. This time I'm gonna show you, if you do have a Pilates ring, it looks like this. With, with the Pilates ring, you're coming back on that toe. You're gonna lunge, squeeze, but you're squeezing that ring. There's handles on that ring. As soon as you squeeze that ring, you instantly feel that core tighten, all right? If you don't have one, like I said, you can still join me, but if you have one, grab it. You can even use a small ball. Just squeeze the ball, or maybe you have some bands. Just whatever you got, make it work. Again, nothing works as well. Come on, but you're squeezing that whole time if you have that ring. Down, up, lift, slow, down. Knee, front knee over that ankle. Come on, you got it. Down, up, and squeeze. Good, we gotta do the other side. So you're squeezing that ring the entire time. I'm gonna show you from the side. So I'm up on that back toe, front knee over the ankle. Does not go this way, all right? Just think of that back leg lunging and then up and squeeze. Squeeze the booty, squeeze the ring. Come on, chest up, shoulders back and down. Down, up, take your time. Come on, you got this. Last time with this one, down, up, squeeze. Come on, stay up on that back toe. Woo, almost. Down. Are you squeezing that ring? If you have one, I hope so. Come on, you got it. Down. Up. And lift. There it is. Good. Back to the center. We're going back to those crunches. If you have the ring, great. If not, don't worry about it. But again, you're squeezing it. At least 10% pressure. Push against those handles. So two crunches. Slow. Remember, you're not moving that lower body. Tap. Holding the squeeze the whole time and tap. Do it again. Crunch. Two. Side. Center. Come on, don't lean forward or backwards. Oh yeah. Woo! Breathe. Side. Center. Side. Center. Yes, you can. Come on, you got it. Down. And up. So we're going to that last move. Obviously no equipment, arms out to the sides, toes and knees forward the whole time. Remember this part from here down does not move. It's all here. Come on, let's go. Reach, slow, reach, center, reach, center. Yeah, come on, you got this last one. Then we're going to our second block. We're actually gonna come down on the ground for the next block. All right, down and up. Again, first round, I'll show you with no equipment. Come on, side to side. Right to the end. Yes. You got about 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Breathe, shoulders down, don't do this. Relax them. Center, reach, center. There you go. All right, next one. We're gonna come down on our side. We're gonna do, um. The, you wouldn't use any equipment for this unless you have resistance bands. You can put them around your legs. 
So your front toe is facing the ground. You're just gonna tap front and behind, lifting that leg as high as you can. All right, we're gonna do that for a right side, then a left side. Then you're gonna come up into a C-sit. So you're leaning back like this, all right? Fingertips forward, tap those heels out, tap those heels in. Leaning back the entire time. Then we're gonna go into a plank hold. And I'll show you with the ball what you could do with the plank hold when we get there, right? It's just a little ball. You guys can pick one of these up if you don't have one. They're not that expensive. I think they have my five below. Um, so we're just gonna use that ball, but I'll do it the second round, all right? So come all the way down on your side. Do not do this because by doing this, you're putting an arch in your spine. Relax the head down to the arm. Toe points towards the ground. Ready? You're gonna tap front and keep that toe facing down. You're gonna feel all this here in that glute med. Oh yeah, come on, up and back. Tap. Forward and back, come on, lift that leg as high as you can, but keep that toe down. Tap front, tap back. Tap front. Ooh, breathe, breathe, breathe. Remember, relax that head. Nice straight line. Come on, lift and tap. Inhale, exhale. Come on, right to the end. Here it comes. Good. Just switch it to the other side. Same exact thing. All right, all the way down. Relax that head. Point that toe down. Ready, here we go. Tap in front. Lift, tap behind. Remember guys, you're taking it slow today. You control those movements. No jerking, no swinging. Come on, lift and lower. That knee is slightly bent too. You don't want to lock it. Lift it up and tap. Front and tap. Oh yeah. Non-surgical butt lift. Let's go. Tap it front. Tap it back. Right to the end. So close. Then we're gonna sit up in that C sit. We got those heel taps in and out, coming up. Woo! Oh yeah. You should feel right there. Smack it out, rub it out. All right, leaning back, I'm gonna show you from the side. So I'm leaning back, my fingertips are forward, all right? You tap those heels out, you tap them in. Tap them out, tap them in. Come on, get those shoulders out of your ears. Lift those legs as high as you can, tap out. Now, if you have resistance bands, you can also put those around your legs for both of those moves, those outer thighs that we just did, and these as well. Come on, out and in. But you do what you can with what you have. You don't need anything, you can still work out. Plenty of options, no excuses. Come on, you got it. Out and in. Woo! It's coming. You got less than five. Then we're going into our plank hold. Good. So your plank hold, you have options. Either on your elbows in a low plank, on your hands in a high plank, either way. So let's start here. Feet apart so those hips don't rock. Just hold that plank. Hold it. Now, uh, another option, down on the elbows. Shoulders are directly over the elbows. And if you're not there yet, you drop to those knees. All right, drop to those knees but make sure that butt is down, all right? The butt is down, it's not up here. Hold it down, here. Pull the navel towards the spine. Core is nice and tight, back is flat. Nice straight line from head down to your toes. Don't look up, stay there, keep that head neutral. Come on, inhale, exhale, here it comes. Woo, all right, let's do it again. All right, so down on your side, pick a side, you're doing both. All right, so I don't care which side you're on. Ready? Tap it forward and back. Up and back. Come on, lift and tap. Lift and tap. Oh yeah. Woo, come on. Up and over. Now, if you guys have any other requests of classes you'd like to see, feel free. Message me. You can find me on Facebook, Tammy Zampano. Instagram, Healthy with Tammy. Come on, just message me. I'll be more than happy to put something up for you. So someone, a couple people asked me for this. So I'm, I wasn't sure what equipment you guys have, but I love sharing my passion for fitness with everybody. Come on, other way. Other side, other side. Come on, toe, to, toe down. 
Here we go. Relax that head. Up and over. Up and over. You can use this hand for support in the front. Tap. Lift and tap. Yeah. Woo! Come on, burn out that booty. Up and over. Last time with this one. Then we're going to that C-sit. Heel taps. Come on, right to the end. You are more than halfway. Remember that knee slightly bent. Don't block those joints. Oh yeah, so close. There it is. Woo! Smack it out, rub it out. Back to that C-sit. Lean it back. You can even, if you want to challenge yourself, just stay here without the hands down. Out and in, it's gonna be a little harder. So if you're not there yet, that's fine. You set yourself some goals, you crush those goals, and then you set yourself some new goals. It should always be a challenge. Come on, you got it. You do you, out and in. So remember here, fingertips are forward, shoulders are down out of your ears. Take your time, out and in. Yes, you're tapping those heels each time. Tap them out, tap them in. Single digits, you got it. Then we're going back to that plank. I'm gonna show you how to do it with that ball. Come on, three, two, one, rest. So if you have that ball, you're just gonna take that ball right between those legs, high in those legs, all right? And you're gonna come up into that plank and just hold it, squeezing that ball the entire time. Now stay here, get that butt down. Same thing, if you're on your knees, squeeze the ball, get the butt down, all right? So you're not here, you're here. Okay, you're here. Everybody down on your elbows. We're gonna add some taps. So you tap down and up, tap down. And lift. Come on, squeeze that butt at the top. Down, tap. Woo! Come on, this is it, last time with this one. Down and up. Bring it up and hold, hold it. Right to the end. Awesome. All right, guys, moving on. Next block. We're gonna be on all fours. I'm gonna show you this one too with and without the ball. First round I'll do without it. So we are going to do a fire hydrant. You're on all fours, shoulders over the wrists, right? So get a lift, come back and kick. So from the side, fire hydrant, kick it back. Push that heel through the ceiling. We'll do right side, we'll do left side, all right? And then we're gonna do, um, I think I missed one. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna do four heel taps, two hip ups, I'll show you that with the ring. So you'll be on your back, and then we're gonna do 100s. We're here and just pump it out. I'll show you different options for that as well. All right. And the um, heel taps are going to be here. One, two, three, four, two glute squeezes. First round, no equipment. All right. Everybody on all fours. Here we go. One fire hydrant. Stay on that same side. One fire hydrant, one kickback. Come on. Squeeze that booty behind you. Squeeze. You're flexing that foot. You're kicking that heel right through the ceiling. Keep that head neutral. All the way down. 
You're going to reach side to side for those heels. Four taps. One, two, three, four. Two hip ups. Up and down. Up. Do it again. Four heel taps. Reach. Reach. Shoulders up off the ground for those heel taps. Come on. Lift. Push through those heels. Yes. Reach. Two, three, four. Come on. Lift it up. And squeeze as high as you can. Lift. One, two, three, four. Come on. Yes, you can. You're so close. All right, guys. We're really going to burn out that core now. So we got those hundreds. I'm going to show you different modifications. So beginners, you're just going to lean back here and just pump it out. All right. Just lean it back as far as you can. Hold and pump. Now. You want to lean back so the core is engaged. The further back you go, the harder it is. And then you could lift those feet up off the ground, shoulders lifted, and just pump it. Now look, if you're lifting those legs, you have to make sure your back is flat. If your back is arching, I want those legs up higher, all right? Or just put them down, all right? But this is going to be your advanced move, as long as your back is flat. Yeah, come on, pump it, shoulders up, inhale, Exhale. Woo! Two, one, and rest. Awesome. All right, guys, we're going back to the top. So we're going back to that fire hydrant kickback. I'm going to use a ball, putting that ball behind my leg. Ready? So one fire hydrant, one kickback. With or without that ball, you do you. Squeeze that ball, though. Come on. Lift and kick. Oh, come on. Yes, you can. Woo. And lift. Oh, come on. Squeeze that ball. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. And kick. You got it. Oh, here it is. Awesome. Come on, we got to do the other side. One more time, one more time. Come on, squeeze that ball. Come on down on those elbows. One fire hydrant. One kick back. Lift. Kick it back. Oh, yeah, come on. Yes, you can. And up. Come on, you pulling that core in? Yes, you are. Lift. Oh. Now, for the next one, we're going back to those um, heel taps, hip ups. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that with the ring. If you don't have one, just do it like I did the first round. Come on, you're there. Lift. This one's almost done. Are you flexing that foot? And rest. All right. So, with the ring, ring is in between those legs. You're going to come down, feet down. Reach, one, two, shoulders up. Now bring those shoulders down, lift up, squeeze, in, down. One, two, three, four, lift up, squeeze, down. One, two, three, come on, you're reaching for those heels, you got it. Up, squeeze, in, down, come up off those shoulders. One, two, three, four, down. Squeeze that ring, yes. If you don't, you can even use that ball for the squeeze if you want. Plenty of options, no excuses, yes. Woo, 100s. If you want to, you could add that ball between those legs. Come on down, pump it, pump it. Let's go. Remember guys, CP, consistency and patience, that's gonna get you there. That equals success. Come on, let's go. It's not going to happen overnight. Come on, remember, I showed you plenty of options. If this isn't you, pick the one that is. But don't pick it. Like I say, pick your poison, but pick it wisely. You do not want to pick easy. Whichever one you're doing should be a struggle. It should be a challenge. Come on, you got it. Just about 10 seconds. Right to the end. Woo! You got five. Yes, you can. 
Tell yourself you can, you can, you can, and you will. Awesome. All right, we're going into our final block. All right, so the last one is going to be double knee pull. So you're just going to stay down on your back, pull for two, and switch. Nice stretch, too, as well. And then we're going to do cobras to scorpions. They look like this. I'll show you from the side. So you're on your stomach. You're going to come up into that cobra, trying to keep those hips down. Bring it down, and then you're going to tap that foot behind you. We're going to do alternate those right and left, all right? And then um, we're going to finish it off with a little bit of stretching. I'll show you guys when we get there, all right? So the double knee pull. So we're going to do, when we do the stretching, I'm going to have you guys just do a crossover, pull, lift, down, other side. And then we're going to go the other way, all right? It's a little stretching for you at the end. All right, so two full rounds of this final block, and you are done. All right, double knee pulls are first. Come down on your back. All right, one leg out, one leg in. You want to make it a little harder, lift up those shoulders. Pull for two. Switch. Two. Come on. Pull. Two. Come on, pull it in. Woo! In. Two. Now, if you want to go a little deeper, Feel more of a stretch, make it a little bit harder. We can do a straight leg. So it's up, two, switch, two. But my shoulders are up off the ground. Come on, switch it. Alternate right and left. Switch, two. Cobras are next to those scorpions. Rest, so just flip it over onto your stomach. Hands by your side. All right, you're just going to come straight up. Look straight up towards that ceiling. Ready? Come on up. Hold it there. Hold that stretch. Good. Come down. Now take one foot up and over. Try to tap that foot behind to the other side. Good. Come back to the center. Come back up. Cobra. Good. Come on down. Let's go the other way. Tap it. Good. And if it feels good, stay there for a little longer. Hold the stretch. Come on up. Good. Down. Up and over. Good. We have time for one more. Come on up. Finish it. Don't worry about the bell. Finish it. Up and over. Good. Back to the center. Flip it over on your back. All right. One foot on top of the other. You're gonna pull that leg in, hold it here. Now take this hand, push against that inner thigh. And take that back leg up towards the ceiling. Good, bring that foot back down. Let this leg cross over, and then shoulders stay flat. Drop yourself to the side. Good, hold it. And come back to the center. Bring it back up, pull it in again. Drop it down, give that inner thigh a little push. Good, two, one, and rest. Let's do the same thing to the other side, all right? So you're gonna bring one, that foot down, pull this leg in towards your chest. Now extend it straight up to the ceiling, extend it up, slide those hands up. Good, cross it over, give it a little push. Good, pull that leg in. Back leg comes up. Good, drop it down. Cross it over. Other side, hold it. Make sure those shoulders stay down. Good, come back to the center. I want you to just grab both legs, pull them right into your chest. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, one. And rest, good. Let's go through that last block one more time. Back to those double knee pulls or straight legs, whichever you prefer. Ready? One leg out, here we go. Pull, two, in, two. Come on, shoulders up. Really pull it in. In, for two. Remember that option, straight leg. So you don't wanna hold behind the joint. You either hold the, the um, calf, or the ankle, or the hamstring, just not behind that joint. Come on, pulse, two, pulse, two, pulse, two. Come on, so close. Woo, make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. 
You're there. We got two. One. And wrist. Beautiful. Let's go back to those cobras. Come on. Last time with this one. All the way down on your stomach. Hands at your side. Push it straight up. Here we go. Come on up. Come on. Squeeze that butt. Look up towards that ceiling. And drop it down slow. Bring that leg up and over. Hold it. Good. Back to the center. Back to that cobra. Look it up. And relax those shoulders as well. Don't put those shoulders into your ears and reach behind. Good. Back to the center. Come on up, cobra. Now come down out of that cobra, and I want you to bring those arms out and just reach it up and hold. And rest. Good. One more time. Reach it up and hold. And rest. Good. Roll it onto your back. All right, pull that right leg in. A little bit more stretching. Bring that leg up. Now I want you to, if you can, grab the outside of that foot and just pull that knee right into that armpit. Good, now grab the ankle and drop that leg out to the side till your elbow is on the floor. Good, bring it back to the center. Bring it down. Let's do the other side, pull it in. Extend it up, slide those hands up. Good, grab the bottom of that foot, pull that knee into that armpit. Don't worry about the bell, keep going. I want you to grab that ankle and drop it out to the side. Good, bring it back to the center, drop it down. You're gonna come up, we're gonna stretch it out. You're gonna come up on your knees. button subscribe to my page and like I said even the comments if you if there's something different you'd like to see me teach I'll be more than happy to accommodate the only thing I do not do is yoga and Zumba but other than that I'm good all right guys have a fantastic um